many motherfuckers wanna get dipped? Know this. I'm just a nigga that got a gift. I step over suckers like I'm stepping over shit. I rip. Gonna suck my dick to a hater. I ball like a motherfucking cork with the Lakers. So when you see me in a belly and I'm rolling by, I grind on this fucking time to drop my eye. The fly, just come fuck with me, nigga. I get you hot on D R O P. But come and see me with your Bible, cause on these streets. Hey, how's everybody doing there? Out there in TV land. My name is Daryl Wills. I'm the CEO and president of Legit Records Inc. Uh, what we have here is a group of questions that that people wanted to ask me uh, about myself and about the company and I let them know that I'd, I'd answer their questions, you know, so I'm doing this little private little interview here. Going right off the car, nothing's uh, what they call uh, pre-rehearsed. Uh, all this is going to be spontaneous, me answering these questions is all spontaneous here. The first question that they wanted to ask of me says, uh, what do you stand for as a businessman? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. What I stand for as a businessman, uh, all business is good business. You know, uh, I'm about being professional. So uh, I believe, like, no matter what you're doing, like, you know, with my record company, I'm about to start another company also, a uh, janitorial company. Um, and it's just about being professional what you do. You know, uh, if you're going to do something, be the best at it. You know, keep that frame of mind. So that's where I'm at as a businessman. I'm trying to be the best I can be, you know. Next question. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see, what do you stand for as a family man? <laughs> wow, okay, what I stand for as a family man. Hmm, man, uh, I love my family. Uh, you know what kind of question is that? Uh, I love my family. I want the best for them. I'm trying to do the best for them. You know, I have been from the beginning. That's where I'm at as a family man. I love my, you know. Uh, next question. <laughs> uh, what do you stand for as a godly man? Wow, okay. As a godly man, uh, well, see right here. Let me fix my cross here. It's hanging, dangling, crooked. And this is what I represent. You know, I'm a strong believer of Jesus Christ, you know, but I don't knock any other religions, you know. You do you, I do me, you know. Uh, but yeah, I was raised in the church, you know. I raised my kids in the church, you know. That's that's my duty, you know. So, yeah, I put no no God before him. You know, I'm a jealous guy. Okay, next question. How do you support your artists in the business? Hmm. Well, I do all I can for my artists, you know. I believe in uh, I believe in having a good, strong artist development program uh, to make sure they can be all they can be out when they leave here. You know, uh, basically, I want the best artists and I want them in the best frame of mind. You know, there's a lot, to, a lot of competition, a lot to deal with, a lot of crookedness out there. You know, it's all come with the territory. So. Uh, the stronger the artist, uh, the more solid, the, what I most solid home I have here. You know, I don't need no artists, uh, alcoholics, and, you know, on drugs. You know that that stuff I I could do without. You know, especially being independent. You know, I ain't got time to be wasting on nobody or the money. But uh, next question. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. This one says, how do I support my artists outside of the business? Well, shit. How do I just support them outside of the business? 
Outside of the business, uh, you know, I, I try not to get in their personal lives unless, you know, they come to me with something. I'm always here. I, I'm, I plan to always be here for my artists. Um, you know, I was an artist myself, you know, and, and I believe that to have a strong relationship and a strong family here, um, rapport has got to be a must. We got to communicate. You know, that's, that's the downfall of most uh, relationships is communication. You know, so that's something that I want with my artists. Um, I hope they want the same. You know, um, I have a great mind. You know, I, I would I would not like to see my artists uh, after making a hit here um, broke within the next few years. I, I want to see them flourish. You know, make investments and. I have a mind for that, you know. I think I, I was born, I'm gifted for that. So um, hopefully I can help them invest their money in, in, in further ventures, you know, start their own. If it, you know, if a company is what their dreams are, you know, I can guide them that way, you know. Uh, next question. Being such a small company, how can you succeed in the industry? Well, that's a challenge, you know. Uh, this is like a this is like a dice game with a purpose. Um, how could we succeed? Well, I plan to succeed by all means necessary. You know, for one here, legit. Uh, go sit, boy. Um, you know, we plan to build our own door and open it ourselves. We ain't looking for no handouts, uh, you know, even distribution. We're not looking for that right now. Right now, we try to make a name. I'm trying to make a name for my artists and, uh, <clears throat> you know, get them seen and heard, you know. Um, so in that, you know, it's going to take us promoting our own shows. You know, we can't be jumping in somebody else's promotion. We got to promote our own shows, and I got to get my artists paid here uh, through those through those shows. Um, you know, that's what it's about. You know, getting seen and heard, making a name for yourself. If don't nobody know you, nobody wants to buy your music. Bottom line. So that's what I'm trying to do for my artists. Uh, just keep keep them busy. You know, get them paid. You know, uh, keep them focused on the prize, you know. I try to tell my artists here that uh, you have to be like a racehorse. You know, racehorse come out the gate, they got, they got them guiders on. That's so they can't get distracted on the people on the side or whatever's on the side. That's so they can stay focused on straight ahead, you know. And that's how I want my artists focused straight ahead. Next question. Oh, he said that. Huh? Why would an artist want to come to my label? Huh. Well, I'm gonna tell you, most artists, uh, a lot of artists that I run into, just have the game. They got it mixed up, you know. Um, bad information. A lot of them think that, you know, when you get a record deal, it's, you, you're supposed to get paid right off the bat. With some, not with all. Most most record deals, you know, we 